Chapter 1 1 Explain working principle of induction motor. 2 Explain the working principle of induction generator. Also discuss the applications of induction generator. 3. Draw and explain speed. Talk characteristic of an induction motor. 4. Why starter needed for polyphase induction motor? 5. Explain the procedure to construct the circle diagram of induction motor. Also describe the method to determine losses, efficiency and slip at full load condition using circle diagram. 6. What is harmonic torque? Write a note on I. Crawling and E. Cogging of induction motor. 7. Discuss working principle of squirrel cage induction motor. 8. Explain slip ring induction motor. 9. Explain the working principle of induction generator. Also discuss the applications of induction generator. 10. Explain the procedure to construct the circle diagram of induction motor. Also describe the method to determine losses. Efficiency and slip at full load condition using circle diagram 11. Derive the equation of electromagnetic torque for a 3 phase induction motor 12. Discuss the procedure to perform no load and blocked rotor tests on a 3 phase induction motor. 13. Draw and explain speed, torque characteristic of an induction motor. 14. Explain double cage induction motor. 15. Why starter needed induction motor? Mention different starters for three phase induction motor and explain star, delta starter in detail. Chapter 2 1. Why single phase motor is not self starting? Explain the double field revolving theory in relation to single phase AC motors. 2. Explain the split phase starting methods of single phase induction motors. 3. Write a note on shaded pole motor and states its advantages and disadvantages. 4. Discuss working of universal motor and repulsion motor chapter. 3. 1. Define the pitch factor and distribution factor for synchronous generator. 2. Derive the EMF equation of an alternator. 3. Explain various conditions for synchronization of the alternator. 4. Explain the parallel operation of two alternators. 5. Explain two bright one dark lamp method of synchronization. 6. Describe the effect of armature reaction in case of a synchronous generator. 7. List the methods of determination of voltage regulation of an alternator. Describe any one of them in detail. 8. Explain determination of voltage regulation by ZPF method. 9. How direct access and quadrature access reactants can be measured for S alien pole machine? 10. What do you mean by autosynchronous motor? 11. Explain the construction of a salient pole synchronous machine. 12. Explain with reason why synchronous motor is not self starting. Discuss the methods of starting the synchronous motor. 13. Explain V curves and inverted V curves in brief. Also give its importance for synchronous motors. 14. Describe the effect of armature reaction in case of a synchronous generator. 15. List the methods of determination of voltage regulation of an alternator. Describe any one voltage regulation method in detail. 16. Explain cylindrical rotor synchronous machine. 17. Explain the construction of a salient pole synchronous machine. Chapter 41. Discuss working of repulsion motor. 2. Explain the construction and working of universal motor. 3. Write a note on Schrage motor. 4. Explain construction and working principle of permanent magnet BLDC motor. 5. Explain concept of linear induction motor. Also give relative advantage and disadvantage. 6. 
Explain different talks in synchronous motor. 7. Explain with reason why synchronous motor is not self starting. Discuss method of starting the synchronous motor. 8. Write short note auto synchronous motor with circle diagram chapter. 5. 1. Explain concept of linear induction motor. Also give relative advantage and applications. 2. Explain construction and working principle of permanent magnet BLDC motor. 3. Explain concept of stepper motor.